In this question, we're given a parallelogram OABC. And we're told that the vector OA is equal to A, and that the vector OC is equal to C. X is the midpoint of the line AC. And we're told that OCD is a straight line such that the ratio of OC to CD is equal to K to 1. We're also told that the vector XD is equal to 3C minus half A. And we need to find the value of K. So we can start by labelling our diagram with the information that has been given to us. Since we're told that OABC is a parallelogram, we can say that the line OC and the line AB are parallel to each other and that they're also the same length. And because they're both parallel and the same length, we can say that the vector OC is equal to the vector AB. So we can label this in our diagram and say that the vector AB is equal to C. And when we write out vectors, we should always make sure to have a line underneath so as to denote that this quantity is a vector. And now using this same rationale, we can say that the line OA and the line CB are both parallel and equal in length. And so the vector CB is equal to A. Now we're told that X is the midpoint of the line AC. So if we draw on the line AC, we can label X in the centre of this line. And then we're told that OCD is a straight line, so that OC to CD is equal to K to 1. Using this fact, we can say that D is somewhere along the straight line OC after it's been extended. So we can say that D is around here. And now there's a vector fact which will help us answer the rest of this question. So we know that two vectors are parallel if they are a multiple of one another. Since OCD lies in a straight line, we know that OC is parallel to CD, which means that the vector quantity of OC is a multiple of the vector quantity of CD. But we don't know what proportion of the length of the line that CD is. So we can say that the vector CD is some multiple of C, and therefore we can call this constant X. So we don't know what C has been multiplied by to give the value to give the vector CD, but we can say that this is X just for the time being. So now in the question, we're given that the vector XD is equal to 3C minus half A, but there are other ways of finding the vector XD. So we can use our diagram to help us. To get from X to D, we can go from X to A, and then A to B, then B to C, and then C to D. So now, to get from X to A, we're not given this vector, and we need to work this out. So we can start by finding the value, the vector C to A. So C, to get from C to A, we can go from C to O, and O to A. We're not given the vector C to O, but we are given the vector O to C. And it's very important to be careful with the direction of vectors. So to get from O to C, we're told the vector is C. So to get from C to O, this is the same thing, but in the opposite direction, which means that the vector C to O is equal to minus C. And then O to A, we're given, is A. So therefore we can say that C to A is equal to minus C plus A. But we're not really interested in the vector C to A. We want X to A. But we're told that X is the midpoint of the line AC, which means that the vector X to A is half of the vector c to a. So therefore, we can say that x a is equal to minus half c plus a half a. So now let's continue. We know that a to b, the vector is equal to c, and then b to c, well, we're given c to b. We know that the vector c to b is equal to a. So using what we did earlier, we can say that the vector b to c is equal to minus a. Now we can write out an expression for the vector xd. So xd is equal to xa plus a to b plus b to c and plus c to d. And that's the same as minus a half c plus half a and then a to b is c, so plus c. b to c is minus a 
and then c to d we said is x c but we don't know what x is just yet but we can work that out so now let's simplify this x d is equal to well minus half c plus c is equal to half c and then half a minus a is equal to minus half a and then we still have that x c at the end but then we can still simplify this just a little bit further we can say that x d is equal to a half plus x c minus a half a since we're told that the vector x d is equal to 3 c minus half a we can use our calculation of x d in order to find the value of x which we looked at to find the vector c d so we can say that 3 c minus half a is equal to half plus x c minus half a because minus half a and minus half a are both equal we can ignore that for the time being but we have 3 c is equal to half plus x c so we can therefore say that 3 is equal to half plus x we'll highlight that over here so it's clear so if 3 is equal to half plus x, we know that x is equal to 3 minus a half, which is equal to 2.5, which is the same as saying 5 over 2. So looking back at our diagram, we can say that x e, which is encircled in green, is the same as saying 5 over 2 c. So now let's look back at what the question is asking us to find. We're told that the ratio of OC to CD equals k to 1. So we'll write that out below. OC to CD equals K to 1. Well, we know that the vector OC is equal to C and that the vector CD is equal to 5 over 2 C. But we can ignore the C for now. And we can just say, by dividing them both by C, we can say that OC to CD equals 1 to 5 over 2. But we want this such that it's in the form k to 1. So to get from 5 over 2 to 1, we have to multiply by 2 over 5. And so to find k, we need to do the same thing on the other side. So 1 multiplied by 2 over 5 is equal to 2 over 5. And therefore we can see that k is equal to to 2 over 5, which you can write in the answer box over here. This question is worth 4 marks, and the first mark will be for labelling where x and d are on the diagram, which we've done, and so that is where we get that first mark. The second mark will be for finding the vector quantity of x d, which we've done here, and equating it to what we've been given in the question. So we said 3c minus half a equals half plus x c minus half a. And that's how we get that second mark. Now that third mark is for finding the value of x, which we've described in the diagram over here to be the quantity of the vector CD. And we found that x is equal to 5 over 2. So that's our third mark. And finally, that fourth mark is for using this value 5 over 2 to find the ratio of OC to CD and for putting it in the form k to 1 and therefore finding the value of k. We found that the value of k is equal to 2 over 5, and that's how we get that fourth and final mark for this question.